Geeks. Welcome to another video. So today, in this video, I will be telling you all about the important topics you need to do for DBT Bed 2022. Most of you all must have given GATE and CSR net, and maybe a few of you were not able to clear it just by some percentages. So don't be disheartened at all. Let's focus on DBT bed and let's focus on cracking the JRF for DBT bed. And this video series that I'm going to come out with will give you all important topics. And after the important topics, I will also be telling you all about bioinfo and bioprocess technologies. I'm planning to make a series on that. So if you are interested, please let me know down in the comment section below. That will help me to understand what you'll need the most. So now, without much further ado, let's get right into this video. So as you all know, the DBT BET exam is coming up very soon on the 23rd of April 2022. And the DBT BET paper has two parts, part A and part B. Now, part A mostly comprises of the general aptitude section and the general biotechnology section, whereas the part B is of biotechnology, right? And in the part B, you have a number of questions from which you have to choose the best 50 you know. So here we have some kind of flexibility and I will tell you how exactly to tackle these units and how to score high marks in DVD bed. Now, let's discuss part by part. So, we first talk about what are the important topics in part A. Now, I have tried my best to keep it very, very similar to the syllabus given by DBT so that it is easier for you to study. If you do not have the syllabus with you, please check the description down below. I will say, let me first tell you what you need to know about the general aptitude section. Now, the good part about DBT bet is that the aptitude section is not very, very tough. Okay. So as compared to CSIR net, the topics are less and they are easier. So mostly topics that are asked are based on the profit and loss calculations. Then complete the series type of questions. So they might give you a series of numbers or a series of images and they may ask you to complete it. Okay. So either there can be a missing number or some missing uh, picture, etc. Okay. Then the other type of question they ask is rules or rectangle. They'll give you an image with a large rectangle containing embedded rectangles or large triangle containing embedded triangles. You have to calculate the total number of triangles or rectangles. Questions based on Venn diagram, which are most often asked in CSIR also, that if there are uh, 20 students with biology, 20 students are with chemistry, so how many will be a part of the uh, general students kind of those type of questions then you have questions on work done so if x does the work in 10 days and then if there are other 15 people how many days it will take to do the whole work so those type of questions then the coin toss kind of questions wherein you have to calculate the probability of getting something then probability of picking out cards at random or picking out different color balls at random these type of probability and permutation combination based questions are asked then questions based on the calendar and specifically emphasis is given on calculating the number of Saturdays in a leap year, calculating the numbers of Sundays in a leap year, calculating the number of years that were leap years in a particular span. Then you have questions based on distance and time, which is a kind of cliche question asked. And you have questions related to the perimeters. So perimeter of triangle, perimeter of circle, etc. Now, this particular topic doesn't actually fall under general aptitude, but I'm putting it here so that you remember. And that is on the list of important days and conventions. Okay, all important days and conventions, treaties that were signed are asked in biotech paper. Okay, so a video on this I have already uploaded during my ICMR series. So I will link this video right over here. Please go through this video. Okay, now the other type of things that are asked in part A. So for the second type, we go on to general biotechnology. In general biotechnology, the first subheading that is given in the syllabus is bio under this what we have to do. So majorly it is about all the biomolecules. Now what specifically do you have to study? Since we have less time, I'm going to give you those topics that have most frequently been asked in papers right from 2016 up to 2021. Okay. So now 
the most emphasis has been given to amino acids what about amino acids basically the classification and questions related to the structure chandran plot then we have to do some proteins in details and these proteins are mainly collagen and myoglobin and hemoglobin okay you have to do the curves for myoglobin and hemoglobin you have to understand the hills coefficient cooperativity concept so these three proteins need to be done in detail then you should know when you are studying about the ramachandran plot about helix breakers you will also come across this when you study collagen okay and then you need to understand some uh, terms like the protein motif protein domain etc okay so these kind of things you should know then the next topic that is very very important is the forces stabilizing molecules now what in this do you have to cover so basically this pertains to all the types of bonds ionic van der waals what is the value associated like what is the bond energy associated with them and also what kind of bond predominate in the primary structure of the protein secondary structure tertiary structure so what stabilizes it okay then next moving on to the nucleic acid in nucleic acids you need to very very well know about the a b and z forms of the dna then simple kind of questions but they have asked from sharkov's rule then you need to also know the unusual bases that are present in trna okay you also need to know the secondary structure of trna the hairpin and the clover leaf structure and one small thing here i would like to add is the exceptions to the genetic code okay so questions have been asked from these so this is about the biomolecular section and these three now further to this you have enzyme kinetics now we all know that enzyme kinetics is one of the most favorite questions of examiners so equation the types of inhibitions competitive non competitive and competitive the km and the vmax over there then you also need to do the calculations based on the enzyme activity so how to calculate the enzyme activity then how to calculate the kcat value okay how to calculate the specific activity all these you should know then in this only you need to know how to calculate the dissociation constant dissociation constant and its relationship with the affinity okay so these are the topics and finally another topic re related to biochemistry is the etc that is the electron transport chain and the inhibitors even over there this is, has been given some emphasis okay and lastly not exactly biochemistry this pertains more to the chemistry asked in the section a now what chemistry they ask very very simple things like calculation of stock concentration okay calculating the ml of stock then you have been asked questions based on molarity based on the ph of the mixture so if you mix two solutions what will be the solution of the resultant ph of the buffer okay so these are the commonly asked questions on chemistry so this is the first section for you then moving on to the next one that is the methods in biology sorry the methods in biotechnology now again important unit because obviously dbt bet targets biotechnology so this part is something that is most frequently asked in the paper so now what are the topics asked over here firstly in this a lot of emphasis is given to the biochemical methods or the methods involved in biochemistry and in that specifically pertaining to the protein purification okay now what are the different methods that you need to do so the different methods that need to be done are ion exchange chromatography in ion exchange chromatography you should be very well very well versed with the first of all separation that is what kind of illusion you will use and what matrix matrices you will use so what kind of matrices and the illusion methods okay then next after ion exchange chromatography you need to know cy permeation chromatography so this is another method you have to understand then sds page and native page you have to understand the difference between the two native and sds page okay after that isoelectric focusing then you have the ni histac separation which is actually a part of affinity chromatography okay so this is affinity chromatography you must have come across this question uh, in gate as well then you have the calculations for ionic strength so how to calculate the ionic strength and how to calculate the 
प्यूरिटी ऑफ एन प्रोटीन प्यूरिटी ऑफ प्रोटीन आफ्टर प्योरिफिकेशन के हाउ मच फोल्ड प्योरिफिकेशन हैव यू अचीव देन टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू द ब्योर लैम्बर्ड स्लो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन एज वेल एज न्यूक्लिक एसिड ओके then you have some common techniques that you need to know that is centrifugation specially the kind of calculation that is asked is the conversion of rpm to g and vice versa and types of centrifugation okay and then i can never forget microscopy so all the latest kind of microscopes right from the basics up to the latest and then which method will be used should be done very very well okay so this is about methods of bio biotechnology now you may have one question that okay but where will we find all of these methods in such a short period of time so there is one book that gives you a very good idea about all of this and you will get the calculations for ionic strength and purity also in that book and that is biochemistry by voigt so voigt and voigt is one very good book for this particular topic now moving on to the next one so the next one is the organization of structure and function of cell so that is the next one i think it is d no that is organization of structure and function now in this as you can see the topic is more of cell biology so what do you need to do very very important first you need to start with the organelles you have to know everything about the organelles which organelles you need to focus on so you need to do the lysosome mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum golgi and the peroxisomes these organelles have to be done very very efficiently now all of these pertaining to all of these organs you should know the targeting to this organelle so how will the protein be targeted what is the signal peptide sequence okay that is important over here then focus on the glycosylations the type of glycosylations and the residues that are glycosylated this is very very important over here then you need to know some of the think about the chromatin so here you need to know the packaging you need to know about the, the packaging of dna you need to know about u chromatin heterochromatin and also about the telomere and telomerase enzyme okay then you need to understand and be very very well versed with the cell division and the cell cycle control okay in this you will obviously have both mitosis and meiosis so you should know exactly everything about the stages the number of chromatids in role with much emphasis on the checkpoints okay then you have to in association with this when you understand how a normal cell functions you have to go on to learning about cancer specifically how to identify what type of cancer it is what are the different types based on the origin the list of the proto oncogenes the oncogenes uh, sorry the tumor suppressor genes and in this you should also be able to tell another thing tumor causing virus or tumor inducing viruses so which viruses induce tumor okay tumorigenic viruses then finally here only i like to emphasize on another topic that is apoptosis and its difference from necrosis and autophagy last topic for this section is on transposons now in transposons special emphasis on the retro transposon alu sequences these are present in humans and therefore they are also important over here fine so that's about these three units of general biotech next one that we will be going on to are the cellular processes the title of the next now under cellular processes what do we have to do so firstly it involves most of the genetic units that is dna replication all the enzymes the factors that are involved in the dna replication repair the different repair mechanisms and when which is employed that is the uh, homologous end joining method you have your um, mute h and mute s which are involved in repair and you have photolysis repair all of those different types of repair you have to do and then different mutations name nonsense miss sense all of those frame shift etc and agents causing them then here you have to do all the rna types that is mi rna si rna ti rna uh, sorry not ti rna lnc rna okay give more focus on this mi rna si rna lnc rna then which rna polymerases code for what okay that you should know similar goes for dna polymerases as well then regulation by the enhancer 
or activators and repressors one of the very 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 favorite topics if you go through the pyqs you will find definitely one question based on regulation by enhancers and repressors because these are important in epigenetics as well then we have to do some translation inhibitors because they are important in carrying out experiments then ttms that are post transcriptional modifications what are the transcriptional modifications and by whom they are carried out this is important in line with this you can study about the chromatin remodeling then protein trafficking and transport which i have kind of covered in the previous unit and then control of gene expression and this control they're specifically talking about epigenetics and chromatin remodeling so all of these topics kind of go in one line so important and please do this unit this may be slightly new for you but this will help you to write a lot of sops also if you are interested please do let me know if you want me to make a video on how to write an sop how to come up with an idea to write an sop i will be very happy to do a video like that also if you want to have a written copy of all of whatever i am saying you can visit my instagram page i'll link it up on the screen you can search for the username and just follow me over there i keep posting something i call jrf bites which you can just look at before your exams okay now the last topic that i will do here is the r dna technology the other branches i will cover in the next video so let's move on to our last section that is the r dna technology again extremely important unit and this you have to do everything so what you need to do is all the enzymes that are involved in our dna technology that is you you have to do the s1 nuclease okay then rnas h micrococcal nuclease then you have your alkaline phosphatase ligase etc okay all of these have to be done in detail then all the types of blotting you know that is northern blot western blot and southern blot all of this then you have to do the vectors and how much kb insert and they can adjust what are shuttle vectors etc so cosmids pagmids plasmids back vectors yak vectors everything then in the pcrs major emphasis needs to be given on the normal pcr obviously then rt pcr and qrt pcr that is reverse transcriptase and quantitative pcr and here only you should be able to calculate the relevant things based on the pcr so how much of template you will add what is the concentration of primer how to calculate that when you are doing plasmids over here you should be able to calculate the amount of insert going into a plasmid okay so these type of questions these type of calculations you should know then the next thing that is expression of recombinant protein using vectors now this is one avenue where a lot of questions have been asked and how to actually study for this part you can refer to many of the questions can be answered if you know that chapter okay so that is the chapter on heterologous protein production in the book glick if you go through this chapter you will understand what are the modifications need to be done if you are expressing a eukaryotic gene in the prokaryote why certain experiments fail etc so all those informations you will get from this chapter then you have microarray dna polymorphisms now for polymorphisms obviously you require some markers so you need to do all of those that you have to do rf lp uh, then rapd and AL, afl then development of scar and ssr markers okay so that's all you need to do from our dna technology in my next video i will tell you the topics needed to be done from evolution and genetics genomics and proteomics that is then after that we will do bioinformatics agriculture and bioprocess technology few questions from immunology as well that's it for me for this video hopefully this is giving you better idea if you want some topic specifically from these please comment down below and i'll try my best 